Um, in this one, exactly the same thing. Now, this one is a very common mistake, Ressa. That's why I wanted to go over this one. Because students see parentheses, and they automatically think multiplication. Well, yes, usually when we have two quantities separated by parentheses, we know that multiplication is the operation of choice. However, these are separated by parentheses, but they're also separated, Holly, by the addition symbol. So I'm not multiplying these. I am adding them. So in reality, I really don't need the parentheses. The parentheses are just there to group each number. But that's it. They're not telling us the operation. The operation is addition. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite these as negative num as um, as uh, complex numbers. Does everybody see how I rewrote those using the imaginary unit i? I just didn't explain it as in-depthly as I did the last problem. Does everybody see how I got the i's and how I got those numbers? Now, when you're combining complex numbers, you can only combine real numbers with real numbers and your imaginary numbers with your imaginary numbers. So 6 minus 4 is going to be 2. Negative 4i plus 5i is going to be positive i. Okay, Just a little fun fact. What if I said what the answer is? What if the answer on your test was, hey, simplify this expression, then tell me what a and b is, a and b are? Well, a plus bi. right? So a, in this case, is 2. b, in this case, is 1. I don't know if that's on your test, but you know that might be how they might ask the question. 